Hi, I'm Andy Paolucci. I'm the Assistant State Soil Scientist and Soil Health Specialist. And I'm here with Tony standing in a soybean field to talk about planting green. Yeah, I My name is Tony Pyrick. I farm on Dairy Farmer Cash Grain here in Dodge County. I'm also the head of our Dodge County Farmer Healthy Soil Healthy Water Group. And I farm with my brother and our sons. We're a cash crop and a dairy setup. Right now, my son is out planting. Uh, this is covers into a, a soybean field. So with that, so what exactly is planting green? Well, planting green is planting into a living plant. And uh, if you get into biology, which I learned over the years going to these different classes and land, soil is a living organism and it needs living plants and feeding it over winter and they got to live off those, those roots. So anytime we take, you know, during the summer, everything's growing. So we got green plants there, but in spring right away and in fall, you don't have, you got bare ground. There's not living roots there for these biology to keep surviving and living over winter. So by planting covers, cereal rye, any type of mixes, we can get that bridge to keep going and help your, your soil fungi and your microbes and all everything in the soil to keep surviving over winter. Then when spring comes, especially cereal rye, they'll, they'll get growing before anything else does. Now you're going to feed the soil and also you're harvesting sunlight. You know, sunlight's a pretty important uh, thing. Nobody realizes what sun can do for us. You know, sun's a very important to get the carbon in the soil. So you've got bare ground here, the sun ain't doing you any good. You want living plants out there to absorb sunlight, make the photosynthesis happen, take the carbon out of the air and put, you know, nutrients in the soil, carbon in the soil. So improving the biology is one of the uh, motives for planting green. What other reasons might somebody get into planting green? Well, soil erosion. By far, you limit soil. Uh, your soil structure, your water infiltration comes, to, you know, it's just unbelievable what happened. Now you don't have to worry about your soil. And when you get rains, you know, everything infiltrates now. You don't have the runoff because we want, we need the water in your ground. You don't need the water running down the low ground and where it's not going to do any good. Every bit of rain that comes, we need to get it in the soil and keep it there and put it down in the soil so the plants have it. When you have tillage or your soil destroyed, there's no infiltration. The water runs off and never gets down. So water is the main ingredient of all our, of anything we grow in our life. So what rotations does planting green work in? Well, basically we've done pretty well everything. Uh, corn, beans, I know in the alfalfa we're a dairy farmer, so we do have to grow alfalfa and that. So usually, you know, you want to lightly till the soil, you know, in spring there so we can get it leveled off and get the alfalfa growing. But otherwise it works just about in anything. I mean, it's, we've been really happy with everything so far as planting green and planting our covers. Reduce our, uh, you know, use, use your uh, pesticides or anything, you know, herbicides. We've noticed so much over the years of reducing uh, the chemical costs and not spraying for uh, pesticides much of anything anymore. So it makes a big difference. Okay, um, so it, with soil health uh, practices, we often say to every action, there's a reaction. So if you're planting green, what other things might you have to change in your system to accommodate that management technique? Well, some of it is your, your train of thought and also everybody thinks the, co uh, the soil is going to be colder with uh, having planting green or planting. And we've done soil uh, thermometer probe checking all the time. And usually in spring, when you're, you're living or your green plant or your green uh, covers out there, it'll activate and actually get the soil warmer by a couple degrees rather than bare soil. So that's it. And then um, also need to terminate. In corn, it's be beneficial to either get it terminated right after planting or if you're going to terminate before, you better get it terminated at least two weeks before in corn. But uh, with that option, which is nice in spring, is if you got a wet spring over the years, if you can let that cereal rye grow, absorb the moisture and get planted. Like say in 2019 and that when we had that wet conditions and that or 18 if we had 100% planted, you know, and uh, that cereal, a living plant out there will keep the soil structure better and also keep your water from, you know, absorb yeah. the water. Do you ever um, have plans to, to plant a field green and then due to weather or moisture conditions or climate conditions have to change and not plant green or? No, so far there hasn't been, oh, we've been planting green now for quite a few years. Uh, it's our last, close to 10 now, planting green and a lot of it. No, we haven't never re-altered it. It's, you know, we've been planting some pretty tall and thick covers. The main thing is get it in the ground. I mean, the, your seeds got to get in the ground. When you've got that covers, you've got quite a mat of uh, roots and soil structure there. You got to get it down in the ground, those seeds to get growing, because if you get it up in the top, you know, up part where all the roots are, a lot of times you don't get the germination on it. 
but as of now, no, we've never had to come out and do some tillage to, to take out a plant green or, or cover crop to get the crop planted. Okay, so say somebody is just wants to start out planting green, what advice would you give them? Well, you don't want to do the whole farm right away. You got to get used to it. So pick out a field, uh, get it planted in the fall right away, and take it to spring and, uh, you know, start there. Don't start, you know, in a whole farm. But one thing you do when you're planting corn into green, you got to move your nitrogen out because uh, cereal rye is a very good scavenger of nitrogen. And uh, by doing that, you want to move 50, 60 units of nitrogen, not, not add more to your total nitrogen program, but move it up forward, add planting, and then add the rest later at side dressing or whatever. But because that uh, cereal rye is a very good scavenger of nitrogen. And like I say, terminate right away after planting on corn, or if you want to do it before, you got to do it at least two weeks before because you don't want that dying and then planting into it. It's kind of a mess. So you're better off planting into it, terminate it right after planting. Yeah, the reason I like planted green so much is because it knocks off all four soil health principles. Mm -hmm. Maximizing cover, minimizing disturbance, maximizing living roots, and maximizing biodiversity. Mm -hmm. We'll keep in touch and I appreciate you coming out and talking today. Thank you.